So I need to talk about something. So you're wondering why I'm taking so long to just do, you know, the bare basics on this Ian Watkins topic. The reason why is because stuff keeps popping up about this good, about this fucking guy. Now I'm finding out that he still has businesses that are still operating while he's in prison. I'm going to explain that. I'm finding out that he has more and more fucking psycho cult fan members who are still harassing real victims of Ian Watkins. That is still happening. He is still receiving, he is still able to receive hundreds and thousands of dollars while he is in prison. He's still receiving that. That's real. And also, too, he has a family crest. So in the UK, if you have a family crest or anything like that, and you're in government or politics or anything like that, it's like you're above the law with certain family crests and everything. I'm going to be explaining that in the quick video I'm going to be making. So there's a lot of conspiracies around this dude. There's a lot of truths behind this dude. There's a lot of cover-ups. Now, there's a rumor going around saying that his dad passed away when he was five years old. Um, I'm not seeing any records of it. Not seeing that at all. So, yeah, there's a lot a lot of stuff that that needs to be uncovered also too with uh joanne mangelix there's a video of her doing like this porn shoot being asked questions in 2011 there's also screenshots of alarming tweets that she's been tweeting out while this was going on while she was in this thing while she was trying to take him down and she was bragging about how he was her boyfriend and shit. And this happened in 2011 or 2012. She was still with him doing that. Like, I could understand trying to get this guy in jail, but bragging about it to a porn producer and having it be in this porn video. And then talking about how you molested your sister and how it tasted like piss. That's alarming to me. whole bunch of screenshots. The more and more I look at this case, the more and more it becomes extremely alarming for me because this guy has a very nice, comfortable life in prison. He hasn't been touched. He hasn't been assaulted. He hasn't been harassed. And this guy has friends in prison as well. He's living a very comfortable and cozy life. The only thing that he's not allowed to do is go on the internet. He has a fucking TV in his cell. He has a nice comfortable bed. He gets fed three meals a day. And he practically gets treated like fucking gold while he's in fucking Wakefield. I'm not even joking. I'm telling you this much. If he was in a Canadian or a United States prison... This guy would have been dead already or touched or something. Ian Watkins, while he has been in jail, has never been assaulted or touched. Also, too, he's able to get people to make it look like he's being harassed and bullied in prison when that's not the case. Most of those guys are his fucking friends. Are you fucking kidding me right now? The more I look into this, the more and more it's just. Those conspiracy theorists weren't fucking crazy because I'm seeing proof all day, all day. And I've been trying to I've been I've literally asked people who are more cynical than I am to look at this stuff to see if I was fucking crazy. And they're like, no, you're not. This is real. This guy has a very comfortable life, living the life he lives, and it is very fucked up.